so this video was a recommendation from a friend of mine and she said why don't you tell people a list of things that you're planning on buying in 2022 so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you 10 items that I'm planning on getting in 2022 or at least that I'm jonesing for so starting real strong out of the gate I'm looking to get a replacement for this here vest. I've had this vest for over a decade. I bought it years ago at a thrift store. I have no idea what the brand is, but I love it. And I'm looking for an upgrade, but not any normal upgrade. I'm looking to upgrade to a Rocky Mountain feather bed vest. If you haven't heard of this brand before, I just hurt your pocketbook because these are amazing. Few things make these. It is the leather westerny kind of yoke on top, and it is the sheepskin collar. These things are just iconic. And honestly, the name alone, Rocky Mountain Featherbed, I just think sounds so cool. <laughs> um, that's enough to push me over the edge, but that's on the docket. You can currently find these at Todd Snyder. And real quick, can we talk about how much Todd Snyder is killing it right now. That company, from their own pieces to the companies that they're bringing in, like Rocky Mountain Featherbed, RM Williams, to their collaborations with Champion and L.L. Bean. I haven't been this excited about a company, I realized, since the man Todd Snyder was at J. Crew, and that place was perfectly curated. So, anyway, check them out. And let's get back to this. <laughs> okay, next up, more Sunspell Riviera polos. I love these things. These are my favorite polos. I want a stack of them. These are my summertime uniform. So if you're not familiar with the Sunspell Riviera polo, Daniel Craig wore one in Casino Royale. I think it was in 2006. Well, Sunspell tailored them to Daniel Craig, and now the fit on them is so spot on. It's a very athletic fit, but more than that, the material that they're made out of, this meshed cotton, is not only super breathable, but it's really beautiful to look at up close. Um, I cannot recommend these enough. So the Sunspell Riviera Polo, just a bunch of them. Next up, a new pair of Common Projects. I love these shoes so much, but I've had them for about four or five years and they're starting to look a little ragged. I think it's time to get some fresh ones and turn these into, I don't know. One thing I have to say about Common Projects, there are so many knockoffs out there and there are so many companies that are trying to make these for less. Just get Common Projects. One time I had a pair of knockoff Eames chairs and they were knockoffs from, from like the 60s. So they were still well made, but they never sat right. There was always something off about them, which I didn't know until I sat in original Eames chairs. And from that day on, I told myself, I'm not gonna get knockoff stuff anymore. I'm only just going to save up and get the original. Whatever is iconic, I'm gonna save up and get that because it became iconic for a reason. Same goes with these, okay? There are so many companies out there that try to replicate these, but the one thing that they're missing is the silhouette, which is what makes these. Um, it's the proportions of these shoes that make them so beautiful. I know they're expensive. If you're wanting to get common projects, find them on sale, find them used, just try the OGs. Um, I gotta stick with these. So next up, the Valstar Valstarino. Oh my God, what a babe. These are based off of the A1 jackets, like military style, but it's an Italian take on them. So they've been making these since 1935. Supposedly it takes up to eight hours to make each one. There's a lot of handiwork involved. And it looks like it. They look really tops. I would get it in that classic lighter suede. I think 
They are gorgeous. I think about throwing a turtleneck underneath. All class. So that's on the list. It's been on the list for a long time. Okay, next up, I wanna get Imogene and Willy t-shirts. I'm not a t-shirt guy. You're usually gonna find me wearing a collar of some sort. But if I'm gonna go t-shirt, I'm gonna go all the way. And it's been a goal for me to try to relax. And so part of what I've been wearing has been a little more relaxed. So might as well go t-shirt. Imogene and Willie's t-shirts not only look super high quality and super soft, but the designs on them are just incredible. It's so spot on. So yeah, so Imogene and Willie's t-shirts. I really want all of their stuff, but I'm gonna start off with their t-shirts and then work my way into getting some other stuff of theirs. So next up, a denim shirt. And I have denim shirts, but I'm talking more in the dressy sense. I have no idea how I don't have one already. Um, it seems like it would become such a go-to. You could throw it under a blazer, you could throw it under a sport coat, um, and then pair that with jeans. I love denim on denim. I think nowadays, being dressed up can feel, can kind of like throw people a little bit. So it's nice to kind of play a little high-low with kind of a more rugged material with say a blazer or a sport coat. High-low, my favorite move. So yeah, a denim shirt is on the list. Okay, so next up, I want a Kindle. So I told myself years ago, unlimited budget for two things, health, and books. Um, and I love books. I have a ton of books, but I love highlighting. I love annotating. And what happens is all of those kind of get lost in the books. It's kind of hard for me to, I haven't figured out a system on how to quickly find things that I've jotted down in them. So there's a few reasons I'm looking to get a Kindle. One, I can download the book immediately. If someone gives me a recommendation, I can get it right then and there and start reading, getting after it. Two, they have a backlight. So I want to be able to read in bed as a nice way to wind down, but I don't want bright lights on that could potentially affect my sleep. So that seems like uh, a great move. Three, ease of looking up words that I'm unfamiliar with. So Kindles have this thing where you can just tap on the word, the definition populates, got it, I can move on. Rather than uh, having to take time away from my book to look up the word on my phone, potentially get distracted, or just move on without fully understanding the sentence. So that seems like a big benefit to me. Four, they're small and light. I'm just toss them in my bag, don't even know it's there. Five, the e-ink display. E-ink is funny to say a thousand times if you're shooting a YouTube video. But it's also amazing to read on compared to, say, an iPad. And also, do you know how e-ink works? Have you looked into it? Are you ready to have your mind blown? There is a reason why it functions slower than, say, an iPad. I'm gonna drop a link to something in the description. Check it out if you have interest and you like your mind blown. Next, I am looking for the perfect pair of jeans. I've been on a hunt for the perfect pair of jeans all my life, man. There are a few things I'm needing in this pair of pants. One, they need to be slim, not skinny, slim. Two, they need a rise that is high enough to where I can tuck my shirts into, but not so tall that it's just goofy looking. Three, they need to be well made. I need good denim, good construction. And four, they can't have any goofy designs on them. Okay, on the back pockets. All right, I don't want any like tattoo looking things on the back. I've already done Jinkos once, I've been there. Now you need to go back. All right, I'm moving on. Something clean. 
Two brands I'm looking at currently are Imogene and Willie and Rogue Territory. Do you all have any recommendations? You kind of are starting to get an idea of my style. I would so much appreciate it. If you have a recommendation for good denim that fits all of that, oh my God, life changing. Next up, a new iPad Pro. I don't want a new iPad Pro. I'm kind of forced to at this point. I've had my iPad Pro since around 2017. It has always been a total beast. I use it daily. Um, but with the new software update, it completely destroyed the battery life of this thing. And I can basically watch it in real time drain. So it's finally time. I need a new iPad Pro. I'm going to go with the 11 inch. And yeah, business as usual. And the final item on this list for 2022, I want a bicycle, man. I just want a bike. So I recently moved to a new part of town that is really bike friendly. There are bike lanes everywhere and I want to ride them. Um, I love exercise. I love getting it in any way I can. I feel like a bike is a great way to do that and a great way to get around the town. And also, I've been inspired recently. I stumbled upon a photo of JFK Jr. riding a bike, wearing a suit. And then I typed into Google, JFK Jr. bike. And up came tons of photos of him looking super cool riding around New York City. I was inspired. I wanna bring that cool energy to my town. So the bike I'm looking to get is the All City Super Professional. It looks super rad, and yeah, a bike. So there it is. 10 items that I am jonesing to get in 2022. Am I gonna get them all? Who cares? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing year. One for the books. Um, I'm looking forward to growing this channel and just putting out good content, just getting better. Um, that's the most important thing. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.